for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungson, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast of San Lorenzo Ruiz and his companion martyrs. Let us pray in this Mass that like them, we may also be heroic in our living out of the Christian faith. Let us ask the intercession of San Lorenzo Ruiz so that he may pray for us, his fellow Filipinos, especially during these difficult times. Let us now call to mind our sins and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd, leading us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, Lord God, the same perseverance shown by your martyrs, San Lorenzo Ruiz and his companions, in serving you and their neighbor, since those persecuted for the sake of righteousness are blessed in your kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.
a reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Thus says the Lord of hosts, There shall yet come peoples, the inhabitants of many cities, and the inhabitants of one city shall approach those of another and say, Come, let us go to implore the favor of the Lord, and I too will go to seek the Lord. Many peoples and strong nations shall come to seek the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem and to implore the favor of the Lord. Thus says the Lord of hosts, In those days, ten men of every nationality, speaking different tongues, shall take hold. Yes, take hold of every Jew by the edge of his garment and say, let us go with you, for we have heard that God is with you. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God is with us. God is with us. His foundation upon the holy mountains the Lord loves. The gates of Zion, more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are said of you. O city of God, God is with us. I tell of Egypt and Babylon, among those that I know the Lord, of Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia, this man was born there, and of Zion they shall say, One and all were born in her, and he who established her is the Most High Lord. God is with us. They shall note when the peoples are enrolled, this man was born there, and all shall sing in their festive dance, My home is within you. God is with us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the days for Jesus to be taken up were fulfilled, he resolutely determined to journey to Jerusalem, and he sent messengers ahead of him. On the way, they entered the Samaritan village to prepare for his reception there. But they would not welcome him because the destination of his journey was Jerusalem. When the disciples, James and John, saw this, they asked, Lord, do you want us to call down fire from heaven to consume them? Jesus turned and rebuked them and they journeyed to another village. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, our readings today focus on the holy city of Jerusalem. In our first reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah, we, hear, we heard the prophecy about multitude of peoples of different nationality who want to go to Jerusalem. And they were so eager to go to Jerusalem that they would even hold the edge 
of the garment of the Jews and tell them, Let us go with you. Isama nyo kami sa pagpunta ninyo sa Jerusalem. In our gospel, we heard that Jesus was resolutely determined to go to Jerusalem. Jesus knew what awaits him in Jerusalem. Jesus knew that in Jerusalem, he will be condemned to death, he will be crucified, he will die. He knew that in Jerusalem, he would suffer greatly. But still, he wanted to go to Jerusalem. He was resolute. He was firm. He was determined to go to Jerusalem. And as they were going to Jerusalem, they intended to pass through a Samaritan village. But because they were going to Jerusalem, the residents of that village did not welcome them. Jesus would have said, It seems that we are not being led to Jerusalem. Pwedeng-pwedeng sabihin ni Jesus, baka ayaw akong papuntahin sa Jerusalem, kaya ayaw akong patuloyin dito. But Jesus took that as a sign of what will happen to him in Jerusalem. In Jerusalem, he would be rejected. But even then, Jesus did not run away from Jerusalem. He was resolutely determined to go to Jerusalem. My dear brothers and sisters, each of us has also our own Jerusalems in life. And today, Jesus invites us to journey with Him to the Jerusalems of our life. Jesus invites us not to be afraid, not to run away from the Jerusalems of our life. What are the Jerusalems of your life? Ano ba yung mga pagkakataon, lugar, bagay, o tao na kinatatakutan natin dahil alam nating magbibigay sa atin ng paghihirap, pagtitiis, pagdurusa? For many healthcare workers, the hospitals have become a Jerusalem for them. It is where they suffer in order to give life for others. It is where they risk their lives just to serve those who are sick. For many of us, this pandemic has been a Jerusalem Getting sick is a Jerusalem. Our workplace could, could be a Jerusalem for us. O yung ating superior, o yung ating boss, baka yan ang Jerusalem natin, natakot na takot tayong harapin, iniiwas-iwasan natin. What are the Jerusalems of your life that you are so afraid of facing because you know that Jerusalem will bring you suffering. But Jesus tells us today not to be afraid of Jerusalem because yes, in Jerusalem we will suffer, but it is also through Jerusalem that we will attain glory. Just as Jesus faced his Jerusalem, where he suffered and died, but it is also there that he rose again gloriously. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, 
we celebrate the feast of our kababayan, of our fellow Filipino, San Lorenzo Ruiz de Manila, the very first Filipino saint. And we also remember his companion martyrs. San Lorenzo Ruiz was an ordinary, simple family man who lived very near Intramuros, there in Binondo. And as a good Catholic, he also served his parish, the church in Binondo. But something happened unexpectedly. He was falsely accused of a murder, and so he joined the Dominican missionaries going to Japan, and the purpose of his joining them was simply to escape the false accusation hurled against him here in Manila. He hesitantly went with the missionaries, and there in Japan, they faced persecution because of their Christian faith. Little did Lorenzo Ruiz knew that Japan would be his Jerusalem. If at the beginning he was hesitant, but when he was face to face with persecution, he was already firm. He was resolutely determined to go to his Jerusalem. So firm, so resolute, that he even said, I am a Christian, and if I had a thousand lives, I will give them all for God. Ganon katindi ang determination ni Lorenzo Ruiz para sa kanyang pananampalataya at para sa Diyos. Katulad ni Jesus, hindi niya tatakbuhan ang kanyang Jerusalem, hindi niya tatalikuran ang kanyang krus. Haharapin niya ito ng buong tapang, yayakapin niya ang kanyang krus ng buong pagmamahal dahil alam niyang kasama niya si Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, let us not be afraid to go to the Jerusalems of our life. Let us not be afraid, not because we are courageous, but because we know Jesus went there ahead of us to assure us that we are not alone in our sufferings. Kaya tayo hindi takot sa mga Jerusalem ng buhay. Hindi dahil malakas ang loob natin o matapang tayo, kundi dahil alam natin may nauna na doon si Jesus na nagaanyaya sa akin, sa atin, na huwag matakot sa Jerusalem dahil naroon siyang kasama natin. Let us not be afraid of the Jerusalems of our life because like Jesus, through the suffering and even death of Jerusalem, we could also share in Jesus' glory. God is patient and aware of our miseries. Let us pray to Him to help us on the way of conversion and renewal. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Christian faithful may heed the call to faith and repentance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. 
that God may give us the courage to commit ourselves to the liberation in Christ of all those imprisoned in their selfishness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those whose hearts are empty and cold may discover happiness in the love of God and neighbor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick in mind or body may have permanent healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for an end to the pandemic, that the sick be healed, especially our beloved Archbishop Jose, that those who care for them be strengthened and help us all to persevere in faith and charity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may enjoy the radiant dawn of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who requested our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. God of compassion and love, hear the cries of the world trapped in suffering and sin. Through your Son who makes all good things possible, we ask you for the grace to follow him always. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the offerings of your people in honor of the passion of your holy martyrs. And may the gifts that gave blessed Lorenzo Ruiz and companions courage under persecution make us too steadfast in all trials through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyrs, Lorenzo Ruiz and companions, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with San Lorenzo Ruiz and companion martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, 
we take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should, should enter under, under my Lord. roof, but, but only say the Lord, word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Preserve in us your gift, O Lord, and may what we have received at your hands for the feast day of the blessed martyrs San Lorenzo Ruiz and companions bring us salvation and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Panginoon.